Hey guys, what's going on? It's Tanil, and welcome to my channel. Be sure to hit that subscribe button and that notification bell. That way you're notified every time I upload a new video. And for those of you who have been here before, welcome back. You guys, I am back today with another reaction video and today I have Bill Ingvall. I think I said his name right. I have a small what? <laughs> so this is my first time reacting or even watching anything by, uh, by him. Now I've heard of Bill Ingvall before, but this is my first time watching his stand-up. Anyway, before we jump into today's video, you guys you know I have to say thank you so much for all the love and support that you continue to show me across all of my platforms. Now, if you have not joined me on OnlyFans, Fansly, Instagram, TikTok, Patreon, and Twitter, all of the information is in the description box below. All right, you guys, I have today's video, so let's go ahead and jump into it. But you know what? If you've had a knee replacement, you know what I'm talking about. And, and I was, I gotta be honest with you, I was really proud of myself because it was very painful. It was one of the most painful things I've been through in my life and I got through it and I was really proud of myself. And I said, you know, you just got through something that's probably the worst pain of your life. Two days later, I got a kidney stone. Oh. Turns out I was wrong. <laughs> oh man, I would not wish this pain on the devil himself. Mm. 2.30 in the morning, I'm in an emergency room crying like a little girl, ripping holes in the sheets of the bed. Because if you've had one, you know what I'm talking about. It's like the most debilitating thing that you can go through. And I'm just like going, ah, ah, and this nurse goes, well, now you know what it's like to go through childbirth. I was just about to say that. <laughs> and I said through my tears, well then, ma'am, y'all are stupid. <laughs> If this is what childbirth's like, there'd be no kids. For real. And then they gave me a little shot of something called Dilaudid. <laughs> <laughs> Why is this not in every candy section of every grocery store? My brother-in-law said, you went from crying like a little girl to all of a sudden going, so what's your name? <laughs> so I go to see my urologist and he goes, yeah, you got a kidney stone. I said, so what happens, I just pass it? And he goes, well, normally that's what would happen. He said, but Bill, you have a very small urethra. <laughs> How do you even respond to that? I said, well, you know what, Doc? It's kind of cold in here. <laughs> He's like, sir, that has nothing at all to do. There's three things in life a man never wants to hear. You kiss like a dog, yeah. you throw like a girl, and you have a very small urethra. Mm -hmm. So I said, well, so what's gonna happen? He goes, well, we're gonna do this little procedure where we're gonna insert a tube oh. Ow. up through your wiener. There's four things in life <laughs> a man never wants to hear. <laughs> and inserting a tube in your wiener is numero uno. Ah. He said, what we'll do is we'll put that tube up there, then we'll take the laser and we'll stick it up there and we'll blast the stone. He said, you'll be sedated. And I said, yes, I will. <laughs> Like As a matter of fact, I want to be so sedated that I see mm. that light and I want to walk into it, all right? <laughs> so they do the procedure. I, they bring me out of anesthesia, and I said, did you get the stone? And he goes, Bill, I have never had this happen in my medical career. Oh, like, oh no. Please don't tell me you lost your wedding ring up there. <laughs> he said, no. He said, your urethra is so small. We couldn't even get the laser up there to blast the stone. Oh, He what? said, is this hereditary? <laughs> I don't know. Me and Pops never had that chat. <laughs> well, son, you're 21. It's time you learn about the Ingvall family curse. <laughs> oh, we've all had small urethras. In fact, your great-granddaddy Max Ingvall, he toured with Ripley's Believe It or Not, his was so small. So I said, so what happens now? And he goes, well, we put a stent in there to spread your urethra, leave it in there for two weeks, we'll go back in and get the, la the stone. Mm. So for two weeks, I have this stent. Mm. I go back in, they put me under, I come out, and they go, we got the stone. I said, thank God. 
And he said, you can pull the stent out in a couple days. <laughs> He's got to do it himself. <laughs> I, I, I'm, I'm sorry, what? <laughs> he said, yeah, you can just pull the stent out. And I go, what am I paying you to do? Right? That's like going to a restaurant and going, yeah, I'll have the steak and lobster. And they go, well, there's the kitchen. Go cook it. <laughs> I said, dude, I'm a comedian. I don't know how to pull a stent out. He goes, you will. And he leaves well. the room. And I look under the sheet. <laughs> oh, my God. And without being too graphic, <laughs> I have a thread mm. hanging out of my wiener. <laughs> funny i'll have to watch some more of his stuff so thank you for sending me that um i think i have a few others by him um and jeff foxworthy in my inbox that i'll have to get to yeah i don't even have a winner and that sounds painful my goodness all right you guys um yeah so that was bill Ingle, my first time ever watching him so yeah i think i will definitely keep him on my list all right you guys share your thoughts with us in the comment section below and if you enjoyed my reaction please be sure to leave this video a thumbs up and guys don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell if you have not done that already, if you're enjoying what you're seeing here on this channel. And if you're looking for something different, don't forget to follow me on all of my other platforms. All of that information is in the description box below. All right, I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, I will see you in the next video. Mwah. Bye.